Hi everyone, I just want to do a test because I have all of 10 minutes, so let's do a quick stretch. I want to try a Surya Namaskara with music. So as some of you may know, I have been experimenting with doing my own yoga mixes, which is basically my own sequence of music that I can use while I teach yoga. So I'm following a very specific tempo, which is slow, which is the tempo that is most suitable, most optimal for the breath, for you to feel calm and good, for your system to feel good. So I'm just going to put on my hair quickly and try this with you before I go on to my yoga class. I actually have a yoga class starting in two and ten minutes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do some quick preparations. I even have notes in front of me. And then we're going to try a Surya Namaskara A, following our breath. See how you like it. This is going to be a new experience. Not necessarily a good experience, because it's the first time. But a new experience, nevertheless. putting all sorts of things on my head because I just washed my hair and it's, it's still wet. Okay, is everything on? Yes. So I am sharing computer sound. So we're going to start on our mat. Uh, mm, mm. Gonna start sitting on our mat with our legs crossed. Gonna start sharing sound with you. Right now you should be hearing music low low-ish music so we're starting with our legs crossed on our mat and just make sure that your sitting bones are on the mat and just roll your shoulders open up a bit do any movements that you need to do maybe let's start with a little sufi grind so settling in in our sitting bones using our abs we just spiral to the right spiral to the left and then we bring our arms up reach our arms up 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 feeling the stretch right from the lower back and as we feel this stretch from the lower back in this same crossing that we're in we're just going to fold forward while keeping our sitting bones resting on the mat so we fold forward, eventually our fingertips come down, put the fingertips on the ground and just walk them a little bit more forward. Remember to start breathing very deeply. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then walk your fingertips towards you, change the crossing of the legs. Same thing, reach up. Inhale, and as you exhale, you fold forward, maintaining the weight on your sitting bone. So you're pressing very hard with the outside of your hips, with your sitting bones. You're walking your fingertips forward, and you're stretching your back. Now we're going to come into our low lunge. So release one of the legs. Step it forward, low lunge. Sole of the feet on the ground. Drop the back knee. Stretch up. And really, really stretch up like we did before. Palms of the hands facing each other. And maybe travel forward a little bit, but not down, just forward. Use your right foot pressing hard on the floor to stop you from going down. So everything is engaged and you feel the stretch from the bottom of your left hip. Really stretch upwards, inhale, 
big inhale and exhale palms on the floor plank change legs lift leg forward drop the back knee stretch up inhale big inhale really stretch up from the bottom of your right hip press your left foot on the floor firmly and exhale plank now from plank just bend your knees a little bit come into a first kind of downward dog ish position pedal your feet bend your knees as much as you want and then walk your feet forward towards your hands towards the front of your mat your hands are flat on the floor your knees are possibly bent you're really pressing on the floor with the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet pressing hard and release breathe out now we're going to start into a surya a sequence and the most important thing is we're going to follow our breath so do you hear the beat that goes one two three four one two three four that's what we're gonna follow reach your arms up inhale one two three four exhale tadasana three four inhale follow your breath three four exhale three four reach up inhale three four fall down exhale three ardha uttanasana halfway lift inhale step backwards exhale go on to cobra inhale very low cobra exhale bend your knees downward facing dog adamukha svanasana inhale two three four exhale two three four inhale two three four exhale two at the end of the exhale bend your knees and just step forward resting all of the sole of your feet on the ground exhale release hold your elbows opposite elbows and just sway to both sides change the crossing of the elbows opposite hand on opposite elbow and just release come back to the rhythm inhale exhale inhale reach up exhale tadasana second surya inhale reach up exhale fold forward Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Step back. Plant. Lower down. Cobra. Inhale. Micro Cobra. Exhale. Bend your knees. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Inhale. Two. Three. Four. Exhale two three four bend your knees jump forward exhale fold forward inhale ardha uttanasana exhale fold down you get the gist inhale reach up Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, fold down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, look forward. Exhale, step back, lower down. Inhale, Mini Cobra, bend your knees. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, end of the exhale, bend your knees, jump or step forward, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, exhale, Uttanasana, foot forward, inhale, reach up, exhale, Tadasana, prayer to the chest. Come back to your breath. Now just sit down and we're going to finish soles of our feet together. Hold the ankles towards you, really stretch forward with your chest until you are opening your chest as much as you can. You're coming forward. You're just really trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open the front of your shoulders. Feel the stretch in your groin. Come back to a low lunge. So just step the left foot backward, top of the foot on the floor. So we're in a very, very low lunge. And then we're going to straighten the right leg as we bend to the left leg. Coming to a half Hanuman. Press, really press with the right heel on the floor. Inhale. Really keep pressing with that right heel on the floor. If you want, you can extend this Hanuman a little bit. And as you do so, as you drag your right heel to the front of your mat, you will also feel a stretch on your wrists. If you want, you can turn the hands over fingertips facing towards you. Feel a greater stretch on your wrists. And then we're gonna come back to plank. Just step straight to plank, keeping the straight line. Left foot forward, drop the back knee. Low lunge. From this low lunge, we lengthen, stretch the left leg, heel pressing on the floor. Back knee is down, pressing on the floor with every surface of your body. Exhale, two, three, four. Huge inhale while you press against the floor, the left heel. Exhale, two, three, four. Bend the left knee again, come back to plank. And from this plank position, we're gonna bend our knees and go back to downward facing dog. Use this downward facing dog to really stretch. Press your palms against the floor. Press the soles of your feet against the floor. Everything pressing with a lot of intention, very, very strongly. Exhale. And now walk to the top of your mat using the whole of the sole of your foot. Balance backwards and forward on the sole of your foot. Noticing how you sway forward and backwards, keeping the balance. Your palms are on the floor. Fold forward. Bring your legs towards you, lengthen the back of your knees. And then straight and up, reach all the way up. Inhale, exhale, Tadasana. Thank you for joining me for this 10 minutes morning stretch. I shall come back to you with something longer. I just wanted to test this because I said that I would do a sequence. So we shall do this and we shall do a lot more of this. Hope you liked it and I will see you soon.